Time right now is 237 on this Sunday, August 29th, 2021. Category 4, Hurricane Ida making landfall now in southeast Louisiana. This will be the second landfall that it's made. It made a first landfall landfall near Port Fourchon in uh, the southern tip of Louisiana. Now it's making a second landfall near uh, Galliano, I believe the name is the local town there. Pressure now at 934 millibars. It is rapidly intensified as expected, dropping like 50 millibars in 24 hours. That is an incredible amount of intensification and a lot of those outer rain bands just now starting to come into Alabama as well. Here's the one minute satellite imagery, pretty much a textbook major hurricane. Look at that eye coming ashore. It's huge. It's definitely gotten bigger over the past couple of hours. And those hurricane force winds will be moving into places like New Orleans within the next one to two hours. Hurricane force meaning 74 mile per hour winds are higher. So the worst of the storm hasn't quite made it yet to places like Baton Rouge and New Orleans. Here's the eye of the storm on radar as it's now coming ashore. Near Port Fourchon, they've recorded wind gusts uh, upwards of 140, 150 mile per hour winds that have happened as the storm has come ashore. And again, Galliano and a lot of these places that are on that Louisiana One corridor going out to Grand, Grand Isle, they are getting the worst of the storm, the eye wall, uh, where the winds are at their strongest. Uh, we've got winds that are measured of around 125 miles per hour within that eye wall, and that's headed right towards places like Halma and uh, Carte Rouge and all of these places that are just west of New Orleans. They're going to be getting the worst of the wind speeds as they come in. So really crazy stuff happening down in Louisiana. Hurricane warning still in effect for much of southeast Louisiana and a tropical storm warning as far north as Yazoo City, Mississippi with those tropical storm conditions expected. Alabama Gulf Coast and parts of the uh, Florida Panhandle also under that uh, tropical storm warning as well. Big story is going to be flash flooding, though, for us here in West Alabama with that flash flood watch in effect until what looks like Tuesday at 7 p.m. Uh, that's when we'll have to that's when we'll finally be on the back side of the storm. And that flash flood watch goes all the way up to Nashville, too. So this would be a pretty widespread event. And that includes Memphis and Tupelo and Greenville, Mississippi as well. Really a far reaching event, Ida will be. That moderate risk of excessive rainfall continues for much of Mississippi, West Tennessee, West Alabama. Again, flash flooding will be the big problem that we have to deal with. Heading into Tuesday, we've got a marginal to slight risk with still some tropical bands of heavy rainfall that will be passing through. Also of course can't discount that threat for tornadoes that is always a possibility on the right hand side of a land falling tropical cyclone tomorrow it's a slight risk down towards uh, southwest alabama southeast mississippi and into tuesday that moves into places like east alabama and into georgia with that marginal risk of spin up tornadoes definitely all things kind of on the table uh, big mess as hurricanes are that as we all know pretty much by now that hurricanes are just a big mess so by midnight tonight and more of those uh, outer bands of rainfall will start nosing their way into green and hail counties and that moisture just keeps on coming. You can see it really well in our future cast. All of those onshore winds fueling more of those tropical bands of rainfall. By around 10 o'clock in the morning, that's when I think we'll probably need to be really keeping a close eye on the radar for any potential areas of rotation that start developing. Overnight tonight, I think we'll be okay in terms of tornado risk, but starting late tomorrow morning and into early tomorrow afternoon, any of these bands that get going here could certainly uh, pack some tornado potential. That continues into Monday evening, and it continues into Tuesday morning as well, potentially looking at an overnight event Monday and into Tuesday. Tuesday with our risk of tornadoes being pretty high. By Tuesday afternoon, most of that risk subsides. We get our closest past to the uh, whatever is left of Ida as it passes through the Tennessee Valley. We could be looking at wind gusts probably on the order of 30 to 40 miles per hour for most of us, but can't totally rule out a stray 50 mile per hour wind gusts, especially across West Alabama. Those rainfall totals, we're still looking at around two to six inches across most of the area Monday and into Tuesday across central Alabama. That means flash flooding again will be possible, mostly across creeks, rivers and streets. And yes, that stray tornado will still be possible. We'll have another update for you coming up later tonight on the uh, on CBS42.com. I don't believe we have a 530 newscast today, but we'll be doing
doing a little special bit online on our website in lieu of a newscast because I believe we have a, an NFL preseason game that's kind of occupying the slot. So we'll have a special update for you on CBS42.com uh, later tonight at 530. So stay tuned. Have a great day, everybody.